here's what's happening as we head outside today. We are dealing with an extreme, extremely strong atmospheric river. And as we take a look outside in areas like San Francisco, Fremont, and down in San Jose, it's almost hard to believe because we're still dealing with clear conditions. However, our friends up near Napa and Sonoma, stretched up into Santa Rosa, have been dealing with the bulk of the storm throughout the past couple hours to get heading out there on the roads for school or work. And here's what's happening right now. Taking a live look outside, zooming in a little bit closer to our local community, Santa Rosa seeing some heavy showers right now. You can see that just isolated in that red color. Heavy showers starting to fall along our coastline too. We'll continue to keep a close eye on our friends down in the Santa Clara Valley. Right now it is dry, but watch this time out. Heading into the next couple hours, we'll continue to watch those heavy showers fall strictly up into the North Bay, lingering and tapering off a little bit more as we make our way off into the East Bay. It'll break apart closer to around 3 o'clock. That means we will get some breaks in the strong system into the evening hours tonight, but it still stays consistent as we head into the overnight hours tonight, early morning hours tomorrow. Now in total, we're going to get closer to around two to three inches up in the North Bay from today alone. Now I'm advancing the clock into Thursday. It tilts a little bit more north as we head into our Thursday trend, but we could still see those spotty showers sweep throughout San Francisco. Daly City stretch down into the Santa Clara Valley too. Now we're into Friday morning. This exact same atmospheric river still bringing in heavy amounts of showers for us into those early morning commute hours, sweeping throughout the bay, clearing up on the back end as we head into Friday. So let's time this out when it comes to total rainfall amounts close to three inches up in the North Bay near Napa just by this evening alone. Now I advance the clock into Friday, closer to around four inches up there, at least in certain communities. And we will pass four inches as we head into Friday evening, just around nine o'clock in total from this rainstorm as we head into this weekend's forecast. By the weekend, we're still gonna see on and off showers for Saturday, Sunday, lingering into early next week too. Each day for the next seven days, we will get some sort of rain throughout the Bay Area. In our inland areas, if you live down in the South Bay, you're more likely to see closer to around a tenth of an inch compared to some of those more impressive numbers up into the North Bay. We make our way over into the Bay. Notice how those temperatures don't change at all. If you live near San Francisco, if you live all the way off into the East Bay, we have very similar temperatures into this week. The other thing I want to mention too, winds. Anywhere up to around 30 to 40 mile per hour winds are expected as we dive into the next couple days. So be very careful out there. If you have outdoor objects that you don't want to be blown around into the neighbor's yard, today is the day to just secure them before you head out the door, off to work or off to school. First alert weather right now, let's take a live look at the pier in Pacifica, where strong winds and big waves have started to pick up in that storm as that begins to roll in. Let's check back in with meteorologist Jessica Birch from our virtual stu uh, uh, view studio. Uh, Jess, it kind of depends where you are in the Bay Area, if, if, whether or not you're getting hit with this. That is so true, Ryan. I mean, gosh, we're talking about the South Bay, still at zero inches right now, at least near San Jose for our rainfall totals, yet we have seen such impressive numbers up into the North Bay close to around two inches. Our daytime highs today pretty much all sitting in the 60s, despite the fact that this rain is starting to fall hard for our friends up in the North Bay. Now you stretch over into Santa Rosa, off into Napa too. We've been seeing light to moderate rain all morning with some heavier cells pushing in from offshore too. This is all part of an atmospheric river if you haven't heard just yet, and this exact system continues to bring in heavy amounts of rain, almost like a fire hose for our friends up in the North Bay. That's where it's fixated right now into the overnight hours tonight, early morning hours tomorrow. Here we go all the way into Thursday. Our morning commute, if you live up in the North Bay, will still be wet, but it's a lot more dry for our friends down into the Santa Clara Valley. I'll show you the difference in those numbers in just a second, but heading into Friday, all of us will get splashed as we head into those early morning commute hours. So it's important to note that in total, we're gonna see heavy amounts of showers heading into this weekend. Just by Friday afternoon, close to five inches forecasted in total from this week up into the North Bay, closer to around a half an inch all the way down into the Santa Clara Valley. But here's the thing, we take a look at the storm and where it's really fixated. It's the North Coast, areas like Eureka and Crescent City and stretched all the way over into the Sacramento Valley, stretched north into Redding, where they could receive up to around seven inches. So our friends in the North Bay, day by day, will receive heavy amounts of rain. But then you stretch all the way down into San Jose. We could see some light showers in the forecast today and tomorrow, but not nearly as much as our friends up in the North Bay. So the storm is really fixated in on them, and we continue to keep a close eye on those rainfall totals heading into the rest of this week. That's why it's hard when you take a look at the next seven days on our inland forecast, showing showers, rain, showers, rain, heading into this weekend and early next week. It's important to note that this atmospheric river is impacting all of us differently, but it's also important to note that you could help out your neighbors, especially with sandbags heading into the next couple days or just checking in on them. And of course, it's windy too, Those outdoor objects as soon as possible so they're not blowing all over the neighborhood. 